Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media and it is time for Hashtag Makers Creative Collab for 2024 and for what is this month? March? The uh, prompt is Over the Rainbow. What is Makers Creative Collab? It's, it is just a fun uh, exciting thing that you can do and just come up with ideas or look at other people's ideas and just have fun copying their ideas. Um, you know, use the prompt and just, uh, come up with ideas with that, with the idea of that prompt. Like this, this month is over the rainbow. And so I was inspired by Twisted Paper Designs. That's the name of the YouTube. I will link uh, her channel and I also linked a video that prompted this idea. It actually looks kind of cool like this. It's a little bit more like a rainbow. So I made this and and uh, there were there were some there are some things I would change about it. Uh, and so I'm glad that I went ahead and made it first. And now I can kind of show you how I, how to make it because there were some trial and errors because I I thought I could just do all my circles and then cut and then I was like well that didn't work I needed to do kind of like you'll see one at a time um, for this I actually had used a legal size um, file folder but I'm gonna use paper that is a little more accessible um, because this one is I think like 14 inches and not everybody can find paper that is 12 14 and a half inches. Not everybody can find that. So I'm just going to use 12, 12 inch paper because that's easy to find. Uh, you can use, uh, I'm pretty sure this is 12 inches. This is, uh, makes me, yes, 12 inches. Uh, scrapbook paper, the 12 by 12 scrapbook paper would be 12 inches wide. A lot of mixed media paper and watercolor paper is also 12 inches wide. Um, height. You do any height you want. I might do this next one a little bit taller. So the height doesn't matter. And if you have a scoreboard, it will help. And if you could find your thing that you just had the other day. Oh, thank you. oh there it is. I'm like, it couldn't have gone that far because I just had it. So I'm just gonna cut these all to the same height, which will be, what will it be? I don't know yet. I'm thinking, I don't need it that tall. How tall were these? These were like five, I think. This one, whoops, is about, um, yeah, five and a half inches, I think. So I think I'll do this one seven. Just for, just to have it be a little taller. And I think, see this one I use paint, so it's very, um, some of them are very dark, so even the, like, uh, those ones are okay, but like the reds and the blues and the violets are really dark. I use golden paints and I just scraped it on there with a, with a, a card and sometimes I mixed in some other paints with them and, and yeah, some of the other things got on them, some of the other paints got on them, but I was okay with that. It's grungy. It's all good. It's all good. So I'm going to cut, uh, the rest of these to seven inches. So I've got four pieces which will give me eight pages and there are seven colors in the rainbow. Uh, you could either add a teal like I did or you could do the first page to be black or white. Um, there's there's no right or wrong to it. And even my uh, measurements when I did my fold. So this is basically a waterfall journal that I just added curves to. It's a curvy waterfall. That's all. So... Um, so this first one I'm going to do about three inches so one two three so that will essentially be the first the first page then I'm going to do the next one so I can't go past six all right I'm going to do the middle one which will be no it won't be six oh, shoot well, it can be because I'm going to cut it down, so that's fine. So the longest one will be six, so let's figure that out. And let me do this one at, at what did I do the first one at? Three? One, two, three, four and a half. 
I, I really haven't played. I, I see, I like having the longer papers. I have like more leeway in there. So let's put that one second. So we have, this was three, four and a half, and six, which makes that all even all the way down there. So if I were to make the front one one and a half, that would make it really long. Also, I don't mind some, I don't need them to be all like perfectly aligned up here. If you want them to be perfectly aligned up there, then you're going to do one at one and a half. Um, but I think I'm going to add one in the middle here somewhere and do it at five. And that's one, two, three, four, five. Well, it really wouldn't matter. I could do it from the other way. <laughs> because I don't have anything on it yet, so the direction is not important. All right. So that's going to go be the third one. So, so now you can or can't see that there's one, two, three, four, up, oh, see that one, is messed up, hold on. Okay, yeah, because that one is the same size as that one, and you don't want that, but we're going to make it work, don't worry. We'll make that work, even though they're the same size. So, um, I made a template for my first one. I just traced something that, all right, do you like my, isn't that fun? It feels really cool too. Sorry, that's where I painted the whole thing and it was just really cool. Um, a template. Oh, that's, I, that's what I had been looking for. That's what I had wanted to use for a template before, but I couldn't find it. But, so I just um, had traced and made a template with, um, something round I mean if you want a big template use a big plate if you want something smaller you can use one of these I had a bowl I had turned upside down um so I don't really have the size down here that I want so I'm just gonna freehand it or or I can make a template hmm. I'm just gonna waffle back and forth is what I'm gonna do let's just go ahead and take it doesn't have to be a full circle it can just be, let's see how wide is my paper, seven inches. So the width of my paper would be helpful to know that. And then I just want an arch. So it doesn't have to be a perfect arch. No, oh, it doesn't have to be a super high arch either for that matter. All right, so I'm just gonna cut that. And that will be a template to use so I get the similar shape on all of them. You don't have to do a similar shape. You could also do a template that is like that. Um, which is what, you know, the other gal that I told you about that was in uh, Twisted Paper Designs. She did something kind of like that. Let me cut these out be right back. Alright, so this is my shortest one. This is the one I'm going to start with. Uh, I kind of want my first one kind of in the middle. So I am just going to trace this and I'm going to cut that out and then I'm going to look at my next page. So now I'm going to look at my next page and kind of see where it is I want my, um, and this is why the length of these doesn't matter so much because it's going to end up being a little shorter, uh, where I want to put my arch. Uh, you might want to have them all be the same and that's fine. You can totally do that. Or you can have them be kind of off kilter and off center like I did. And then I'm going to come down here. It would help if that was lined up. But anyway, <laughs> you do want to line them up to do this, I think. Because otherwise, the line you put down here is not going to be quite right. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to cut that one out. So now I have this one. I mean, it doesn't have to match perfectly. I just kind of don't want it to come over and that's personal preference. You can do as you wish. So now this one, I want to be over on this side more. And so I'm going to follow that line and then follow that line and just cut that. Do you see where I'm going with this? You yeah, see, it's kind of, I mean, you could even do this and it could, you could just do it all green and it would be kind of like the hills are alive with the sound of music. I don't sing soprano, so I'm not going to sing that for you. Not today. I may sing it another day. It's late at night, so, you know. 
and then maybe I want this one to be a little bit more in the center this time. Also, is this, this is, all right, so I need this one to come down a little bit more because my pages are the same size and I want to make sure that that behind there will show. So I think, um, so I got about half an inch or so up there. So that'll give me some room. Plus, if I do it on the other side, that will also show. But I don't know what to, the next page is going to be until I cut this page. That's what I learned when I did it off screen, off camera the first time, is that you kind of have to do, figure out one page at a time. Um, really, it just kind of works better that way. At least it did for me. So now, I can go ahead and take this one and come over like this and I think you get the picture right I mean I can keep doing them all if that makes you happy I'm not sure I don't know if you guys like when I cut away and cut off off screen or if you just want me to chatter while I cut it's really hard to chatter while you cut though just so you know I'm trying to go as high to the top with that one as I can since my pages were the same size and now I definitely have a little bit more space to play with up here. And of course, you know, you can do what you want. I kind of want to do one with like this, this one now. You can kind of flip them. I'll, I'll link that video. And she had some Twisted Paper Studios. She had some really cool ideas. And uh, I'm sure she's not the only one. I'm sure there's other people. You may have seen this something similar somewhere else it's just that was what I watched at a time when I was thinking about what to do for the collab and I I knew I wanted to do oh and then so then I knew you know once I saw that video I was like oh I definitely know what I want to do now so let's come over here and Like I said, you can always just have your rainbow be an actual rainbow and just line these up. I'm not a line it up kind of, if you've been here a while, you know this. I'm not a line it up kind of person. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a let's see how wonky we can do it kind of a person. <laughs> because of my perfectionism, if I can't make it perfect, I'd rather do it imperfect, imperfectly on purpose. Does that make sense? But I know some people it makes sense because I've heard other people say the exact same thing is, you know, I could fuss around with this to get it perfect or I could purposefully do it imperfectly and I'd probably have, be happier with it. So it's, yeah, a waterfall journal that I have essentially just given it borders to. And of course, to uh, you can sew it together, or you could, if you have a long stapler, you could use that. I couldn't find my long stapler because that's what I wanted to use. <laughs> I think some people have been able to um, use their regular stapler. Should I see if I could do that? Does this one open up? But you don't want to do it on your glass, that's for sure. You want to do it, oh, I think I have a, some book page I could probably use, or like an old, I need it. There we go. Oh, two Dickens. All right, so I just need these. All right. Also, you're going to want to, um, you know, really burnish those bits. Uh, you can paint, ink, collage, do all that before you put it together, um, or you can do it after um i'm doing it after because okay does anybody remember the order <laughs> all right this is the first one second one third one fourth one you might want to number them so you don't have to go through that every time um when i made this one i originally had the red down here um and so then i just flipped everything because i liked it better with the red on the top um, and I added the teal, but I think for this one, I might actually have the bottom one be white and then just have, you know, our, our BG, oh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. 
the seven rainbow colors. Um, and also, when I did this one, I basically, I just painted it purple on the one side and red on the other side. And this one I did blue on this side, so the blue's over here. And then did orange on the other side. And then, you know, I just kind of did each side and then put it together. But if I were to do it over, I probably would have marked them so that I would know, you know, for to do this one blue. And you could, you know, if you have it together like this, you can totally do that. So, if you want this whole thing to be red, then you could just, like, with a little, a little pencil mark, just kind of put red. And then you know, when you're painting it, that that's what you want. And then this one would be orange. And yellow. So that's what you do if you have if you want your pages to come out the same and you want to do them all green which i might do i don't know also you might want to mark your tops um blue indigo violet and then this one might be white and the back might be black we'll see question mark I don't know yet um and then okay so those are all on the bottom so I know what bottom and top is and what order they would go in opposite order <laughs> that way when I set it like this it'll be you know the red orange yellow green blue indigo violet I put the teal in there as my eighth color because I like teal so in my, fact, my blue might end up being teal instead of blue but I want to ink it this time and I'm not sure how well that will work all right let's oh did I finish doing all the uh pressing my I think I did I think I did all that I think I think I did now you want to see how one might staple this if they don't have a long stapler don't you and that's what I want to show you but I was looking for something to hold them together that's that's that I'd forgotten what I was looking for because I mean it's not super late it's eight o'clock at night but um I'm over 50 <laughs> so our brain stops working around four o'clock so the older you are the earlier your brain stops working just just saying just be warned it yes it will happen to you sorry but it will all right <laughs> it's gonna happen to you it's gonna happen to all of us if it doesn't, it means you're dead. So I guess be happy that it'll happen to you. All right, let's see if I can line that up and put it on there. Then that didn't work. Okay, my idea is that what should happen is that should go straight through. And then when it does, but it didn't go in the right place anyway. So this is gonna be also a trial and error. So you might wanna practice with your stapler for a little bit first to see also, if you have something softer than a book, I do have some cork. Let me find, I have a piece of cork board. Let me just find that real quick, because that might be a better thing, B or B. Now I realize not everybody just has a piece of cork board just sitting in their studio, but if you're like me, you hold on to things, even after two giant D stashes, because you just never know. Okay, I want those to be lined up as well as possible. Okay, trying to get in the same place so I don't make new holes. Also, I might be out of staples. <laughs> oh my word. Probably should have tested this theory out before. I thought I saw, I'm pretty sure I've seen somebody do it though. And if it works, then I won't be so upset that I can't find my, um, oh, that is so not in the right place. <laughs> All right, here's, here's the problem. My pages are obviously not lined up as perfectly as they could be and should be. Just saying. All right. Come on. So you need to have your, your seams lined up like, you know, like a perfectionist that you don't want to be. So there's that. That actually is, this is the one time where you need, where you probably want it to be perfect you know washi tape might even be our friend at this moment 
So I'm gonna use washi tape today. I wouldn't normally use this to hold the pages together, but I really, really need them to line up and stay lined up, you know? And I'm gonna be inking on this, so you know, if it tears the paper a little bit, it's not the end of the world. Fingers crossed this is where, finger, fingers, you know what I'm trying to say. Okay, see how it did on the other side. Corkboard is definitely, it's better, it's not perfect, but it's better, it's closer to the middle than it was. So now I just need to bend these forward like you do, like the stapler normally would do for you. But since your staples, stapler is not long enough, you have to bend them over yourself. Let's go ahead and do the other end. So yes, if you don't like having to tie to do the, 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 the bindings and you want to get annoyed with not being able to get it on the inside as well as the outside with your staples and this is the thing you want to do you know depending on how annoying you want to be with yourself we're just we're just making it work now you know okay let's do our nice measurements just perfect perfect measurements with the yep that's the middle middle enough for me all right that's better it's closer to the to the middle line on this page you know we're just we're making these things work whether they want to work for us or not we're, we're just gonna bash them into working all right and then okay there's the middle-ish I mean you you can measure and, and get them exactly in the middle if that's what you want to do or you you can do that find the middle that way cork board is what you need so if, if you don't get a big long stapler then at least have a regular stapler and a cork board and I gotta tell you the long stapler I did have I could never get it quite right um, it would never staple where I thought it was gonna staple this stapler that I have here at least where I'm putting the staple I can figure that out every time so there we go now we have my word what do we have what the heck see this was way off from that one so I don't know maybe you want to put your staples in and then fold it <laughs> we're, gonna, we're just gonna have to uh, work with what we've got here all right that one folds but this one I'm just gonna have to refold it because that just it hates me but that's all right. Now, because I'm decorating it after I put it together, I don't need to have my little, that, 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 putting the little code on there for where you want your color, that's for if you want to decorate it before you put it together. I'm decorating it after, so I'm just going to erase those real quick. I also had the thought of doing a uh, glue book, um, which I could do both. I could, um, do the inks and I could also do blue book or you could use um you know um, scrapbook paper and uh you know you could do the bright colors you could do the dark colors like what I did with this I had more of a uh maroon and this is the nickel nickel azo gold and that yellow I used was the yellow ochre and I used like a sap green mixed with a bright green and I did the turquoise and then I did this blue and that was the Prussian blue and the violet uh the red violet all right so I did have to like kind of like stretch these open too uh because you know I didn't get the seam perfectly on there but that's all right it's it's all gonna be fine in the end and if it's not then it's not the end so should we go ahead and decorate and play? So I might mix some reds and some pinks for the red one. Um, and then oranges. I've got yellows and oranges. So let's just start with those three. And I may combine some things. We've got the honey here. Where is my... There. Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. Spice marmalade. Um, I want my rusty hinge. If you know me, you know me. 
and I'm not wearing a shirt I really want to get sprays all over even though it is a shirt that I bought specifically to wear down here when it's cold but it's really cute but it's gonna be too big soon anyway so you know I might as well just play so this is gonna be my red page I am going to want some water water would be nice if you know that reference you're my people you're weird like me if you don't know that reference you must not have sons that grew up in the 90s or the early 2000s early 2000s um let's see oh, it's from spongebob okay I told you uh water 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 that's water to drink okay that's super super helpful for drinking but where's my freaking spray bottles well i just remembered where they are they're on this little um lazy well this one there's one of them here on the lazy susan here so that you know i can find them easy of course also what happens is my light kind of uh flickers every time i touch stuff on my table on my desk it's an alex desk from ikea if you're ever wondering all right we're gonna move this i, I need the glass we want the glass. The glass is what we want. Right. There we go. I don't need these. These can go back with my... But one will go in the drawer. One will go on the floor. Spray some water just for fun. Some festive berries, which is sort of red. I don't know if I have a red red. What was that one? Kitsch Flamingo? This is mixed media paper. It's not quite as fun as like... Um, which my call it would be. So I think I'm gonna start red and then move to orange and then also have the orange up here and move to yellow. You know what I mean? I think it'll be more interesting to do that. But I also want a little bit of pink in here too. Um, I don't want it to be just plain one color. I think it'd be more fun. And then I'm gonna have some extra stuff happen in here. So, um, I think that I will also what is that? Oh, that's the staple. Um, I don't know what I think I will also do because that totally just went out of my brain. I told you it's after 8 o'clock at night. Um, oh, I think I've got some, I definitely have some oxide. I have some red oxide, if nothing else. I had red oxide. I know I did. I have a candied apple somewhere. But that's like, we've got this red, the peppermint stick. That's red, red. That'll be a little fun. And it's got mica in it, so it's shiny, you know? So that'll be fun. And, uh, just... Oh, I was going to also find some pieces so that I don't waste the, um, the ink. So I'm going to get some mop-up pages. I was going to go get mop-up pages, and I was like, why not Tale of Two Cities? You're never going to read it. And if you do, you're probably going to read it on your probably listen to it as an audiobook so yeah these will be fun to use in places however they turn out this is um it's not a vintage book it's just, I got this one I don't think it's vintage I got it because I like the cover I do that sometimes I'll buy a book specifically for the cover just saying all right now oh, I could keep these as it is a sewn in, for those who are new, a signature is a grouping of pages in a book. All books have signatures. A lot of books have like a signature that is like four pages that are uh, tied together like this. And then sometimes there's like a glued in page in between each of those signatures. That's how books work. We don't really do that with journaling so much. We try to put as many pages in a signature as we can get away with basically. Bookmakers don't do that, just journal makers. Because the more signatures you have, the more you have to tie them in. And, and we're not um, machines. We don't have special machines for that. But, you know, if you have a tied in signature like that one, then you have pages that are together like that that you can then um, use, you know, in a journal make a journal all the things okay I think I got a lot of that up uh, let's see this is let's just kind of move that what more red than orange I think 
Oh, and if some gets on the back, it's okay. That'll just be all rainbowy on the back, maybe. Just kind of bringing the, the red over. Red over, red over. Okay, um, it's the, the, the words are kind of showing. That's kind of cool, actually. They're kind of a, what's the word I want? Doing a thing. Transfer. The transfer? I guess that's what I'm saying. All right, I think I could try to, sim try to simplify this. Oh my word. Try so hard, but not succeed. A little pink with that. Oh, persimmon would have been in the middle, huh? I don't think I have salt. Oh, salt water taffy is kind of in the middle, too. In the middle between the two. Grab some more book pages. So you get the idea, right? Do you really, do you want to watch me smush paint and make a mess? Um, or should I just like finish, pause and finish the smushing paint and show you the next part that I want to do, which is probably just stamping and I don't know. Or, I mean, otherwise it might have to be a few videos. So, I mean, you know, we don't want to do it. We want to do this one video if we can, you know? Um, the mica spray. I want to, and I'm going to have to spray this in the middle e anyway. So I'm going to pause and dry this and just kind of do that too. And then that'll be more of a <laughs> mess. I'll be back. All right. So I did the orange page without you. And then I just started the yellow, but I want to move into the green. So I thought I would go ahead and bring you back for that. And I've just kind of been spraying instead of smushing. It's just a little bit faster and easier, I think. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. So we have yellow, which is a light color. Um, I think I'm going to start with this Twisted Citron, would ha which would have maybe the most yellow in it. And then move on to there with a um, Bundled Sage is a light green as well, but it's a different, oh, it's a dirtier green. <laughs> for sure and for certain um but we'll see mixing those i want a more green green i don't know pe peeled paint oh actually it's darker green i was thinking crushed crushed olive might have been a better um option for all this but that's all right but you know just a bunch of different greens is still fun and take away some of the extra with some of these pages and uh it just mixes has you know you got a mix of greens on there which are kind of fun and then as i go over the edge oh, i'm gonna dry this real quick i'll show you i mean i'll show you after it's dry what i do next so now i'm just gonna flip this over and yes that is a got a lot of yellow and green in there that's okay. We're not going to stress about it. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for interest. But yellow is in green. So if I just add a, a good dark green or um, whatever, it'll cover up the yellow. Or I could even add, well, you know, blue and green make yellow. But I'm not ready to add that yet. Where's my forest moss? Forest moss. Here it is. I want to go. Whoops. That's a really dirty, a dirty green. <laughs> Super dirty. Might be dirtier than I want for like, um, oh, you know, for trying to go for rainbow. None of you know me to be a bright rainbow gal. I can add more green. That's okay. We'll just take some of these and add more green. It's not a big deal. It's not that hard. Ugh. There we go. Just getting wet papers everywhere. All the places, all the papers, all the wet. You know that's why you come here because you're like living vicariously through me if you don't like to make a mess or you're being inspired to go make your own mess if you do like to make a mess all are welcome here mess makers and mess wishers or people that hate mess <laughs> this this there's no judgment here you do you boo if you like to make a mess do it go make a big huge mess and have something creative and fun if you don't like to make a mess well Come here and watch me make a mess and feel good about your clean, neat space. It's okay. All right, now I want to flip 
and yes that's wet and it's gonna get on the wet yellow probably but I'm not gonna stress too much about that um, I don't want to go too green too blue blue yet I want to go more um, um, green where's the oh, peeled paint was working well that's a bright green and add a little bit of speckled egg maybe just to see that speckled egg it's like nothing um, let's see, maybe a little bit of the salvaged patina to just, except, you know, it's empty. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's not empty. It just acts empty. It's okay. You could always use the pipette, but why do that when you could just spill the whole thing out all over? Um, yeah, that speckled egg has, oops, no color in it, really. Oh, it should have. There we go. And so it just kind of like mutes out everything. But that's all right. All right. And look, remember how much yellow there was there before? It's not there now. It's all good in the neighborhood. All right. And that, we're browning out. We're getting, cause you know, colors are cross from the color wheel. They're gonna turn brown. It's okay. I'm gonna dry this and then I'll be back. Okay, now I flip that over. We have the green to green blue. Yes, it's getting all mixed up together. That's okay. In the business, we just call that interest. <laughs> and then the next blue we want is gonna, oh, we're gonna turn this green back so it doesn't turn totally blue though. Um, that is kind of a dark blue, but let's see, weathered wood. It's also kind of dark. We don't want to go too dark too fast, do we? Faded jeans? What's that one going to do? Oh, the faded jeans is more blue blue. The other ones are getting more into the indigo, which is fine. And um, just going to fold that over. Oh, and because I've already bound this, see all this liquid going through here? Yep. That's a thing that's going to happen, just, just so you know. And uh, it's, it's not the end of the world as we know it. It's, it's okay. If it does that, it just means that you have a, a opportunity to use washi tape. But if you don't want it to do that, then you'll want to do all this and then put your book together. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Is uh, That's how you get a, possibly get around that. There's no promises. I mean, if you're using sprays, it's just going to be a mess no matter what. There's, you, you can't keep sprays contained. They will not be contained. Just, just letting you know that right now out the gate. Um, all right, and then next color is indigo. Is that mostly dry? Can I just go ahead and close that green up a little bit now, maybe? I don't know. Um, yes, I should probably wait. I'm going to go ahead and use this Uncharted Mariner, which is kind of a, and Chip Sapphire, which is going to start turning it into a purpley color. And, um, just kind of get those all intertwined with each other and all looking cool and soak some of that up with something somewhere maybe more of this it's just a lot it is a lot it's a lot i don't know why i thought inks would be fun i mean they are don't get me wrong um might as well add some to our painty paper here so that it has a little bit more to it than just paint and a bunch of white on the side um so we've gone blue now that was the other one was blue, right? And then this is indigo. This last one will be indigo here. Um, I actually might do both of these indigo because I feel like indigo gets gypped down here at the bottom. It, it's not a lot. And um, also, I need to dry these. All right, I don't really have a violet ink. So I, I want to use my permanent violet dark because that's the color I like the best for this. Um, I did use a little bit of the shaded lilac on the back there and I'll also use that here. But also, I kind of want to just add some of that and just going to spread that out with um, with something. With what? what? What shall I spread it out? With what shall I spread? I'm just going to move it. Got to move it, move it. So it's going to be like a purpley violet more than just violet. Oh, we're not going to worry about that back page, are we? No, we're not. I mean, because if we were to paint it black, it really wouldn't matter, would it? Also, kind of want to do this. 
There's no right or wrong way to, I mean, I'm probably doing it totally the wrong way, but I'm still gonna say there's no right or wrong way to do this. I stand behind my, my, uh, but uh, yeah, if you wanna um, have like this, see, this is the same color as that, except for that is watered down. So just saying, you can water down your acrylics and uh, have interesting things happen, just saying. And just like with my paints, I have, you know, all kinds of colors just getting everywhere on all the things. And I'm okay with that. Let's just do a little of that there, just for fun. And what's going to happen on the back? I don't know. The back just might be um, whatever it wants to be. Um, we'll see. All right, let me do some drawing. Okay, now, I often say you can learn as much or more from your failures as you can from your successes. Now, this looks nice from the outside, right? And, you know, the idea of inking up as you go is, is a fun idea. And some of you were like, this isn't going to work. This isn't going to... You just kept saying it. I know you did. Um, and, and you're right to an extent. I mean, I can make it work. You know me. Um, what happens when you ink pages that are already bound? All the ink goes to the center and your spine just gets weaker and weaker and weaker. That is something we have learned. What also happens is it just spreads into the paper. Spread a little bit there, right? A little bit. Yeah, not bad. It's kind of brown. It's all right. Barely shows anything there. All right, we can see a little bit of leakage happened here. Okay, the blue came into the green. It's not too terrible. It's interesting. It adds interest. We're good with that. Okay, we've got some green and purple happening in the middle of the yellow and green page. You know what? It's interesting. It's fun. It's okay. It's, it's not that bad. I mean, it's still wet. And um, also, our spine is starting to rip. Um, but, you know, and I could have totally redone this whole video and showed you the right way to do it from the start. <laughs> But that's not who I am. I am a person who tries things and learns. Learns from my mistakes, learns from my messes and my misadventures. Would I be Darcy's misadventures with mixed media if I didn't just put this stuff up there? And I'm not upset about this. Um, I still think there's some cool things happening and I will possibly, um, I could do two things. I could just go ahead and, um, you know, try to reinforce the spine. I could make a new spine for it and, um, Cause yeah, see it's starting to come apart. I'm gonna let it totally dry before I actually make a decision. And you know me, I just wanna keep going through and add like more things. Like I, I still wanna play with it. Um, I may end up just putting some book twine. Um, I've got um, some really strong book, book tape, book binders tape that I could put on the outside here, which would hold it the whole thing together a little bit. Um, and then once the insides dry, I'll keep playing with it. So I'm probably not going to, I need to stop playing with it now, but I really want to just kind of like, I, I want to just go through and just kind of spray some of the, some of this just to lighten it up a little bit, you know, and it'll kind of model and just have effects and stuff that happen as it dries and stuff, because this is all water soluble, except for the last page that has the uh, paint on it. But, um... So yeah, I just kind of want to go, oh, I could smush it. I don't have to leave it as dots. I don't know. I kind of like that. All right, let's just, just going to go through and spray all the pages because that's what I want to do. It's an airy kind of, uh, oops, that cut a little bit much, but that's all right. And um, I don't know what I'll do to the back. The back may end up even getting um, some strengthening from it, you know, from, um, I may do some strengthening on the back and add like a piece of cardboard on the back just to make it a strong back we'll see um oh see that's all right i don't mind that yeah i could have you know it's going to do different things on all the pages and i will probably go through and do some stamping and inking maybe glue some stuff on maybe do some interesting stuff across the binding once it's dry to hold it together some but yeah it has to dry so what is my suggestion if you want to do inking and you don't want to have, well, maybe you want that. Maybe that's interesting to you and you actually want that to happen. But maybe you don't. Maybe you want it to be a little more smooth, a little cleaner. 
So you'll want to ink some papers. They could be book pages, copy paper, mixed media paper, watercolor paper, whatever that will glue on to your pages that you make. So go ahead and make the book the way I showed you or the way you want to make it, whether you want to do it with just the arch or you want to do it with the swoop. Um, you know, like a swoop like this and then you can kind of have that and then you can flip it and then flip it and, you know, do your cutting all along as you do that and have your borders be all interesting and fun and funky. Um, or you could use paint like I did and, you know, mark your pages or, or ink and mark your pages like I showed you um, or add stickies to them or something so that you can keep track of what you want to do. Like if you want this to all be blue, you know, like we did earlier. Um... Or you can even just uh, glue scrapbook paper or digitals that are the colors you want to add on there. Or, or turn it into a glue book. I don't know. But if you, sh if you show it on Instagram or YouTube, please tag me because I want to see what you make. So uh, this was my make. Well, this is my official make for the Over the Rainbow Makers Creative Collab. And this is me showing you how to create your own. Uh, your height of your book doesn't matter. Do it do what makes you happy and I kind of like them like this because then they kind of look like a rainbow you know and also I like the interest um, in here of just not having it be a solid color and having it kind of go from the yellow to the green I mean I like the idea of that I mean I did I wasn't super spectacularly successful in um, exec executing ex anyway <laughs> producing that idea but I still had fun and I learned stuff and I hope you guys did too and uh, I hope you have a delightful day and yes definitely if and, and if you're not on in, if you're not on uh, social media you don't like to post on social media uh, Darcy's mixed media at gmail.com you can email me and say this is what I made I watched you and I got inspired and I made this and I know I'll love it. I, I'll think it's absolutely fabulous. And I won't lie to you. I'm not, but I'm not going to be mean either. I'm not going to be like, eh, I don't know. Is that really worth No. I'm sure that everything you make, I'm going to love. Because you made it. And I love you. I hope you all have a delightful day. There is no sadness. There's no negativity. So don't worry about me. Um, I still I had fun making something and I'm going to continue to work with this and uh, see what happens. So keep your eye out and uh, you might want to hit that notification bell because you never know when I might be showing this again in another state or form or working on it with you or or whatever. Um, so, yeah, have a delightful day, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.